it works really well for some of you to coach your own child, and then it's and then it's really tough for others. Um, there was a time when it worked for me, and then there was a time for me to say you're moving on to somebody else. Um, but but I think a couple of really critical things that that you want to keep in the back of your mind. Um, first and foremost, you really should include your child in the decision to coach them. And I think you know you have to let them know. You know, I was thinking about helping out, and you know I really love the game. I love watching you play. I love being around you. How would you feel if I was your coach? How would that make you feel? Would you feel comfortable? More often than not, if you include them in the decision, they'll accept it a heck of a lot better if you tell them you're going to coach them. So that would be that would be the first thing I, I would advise. Um, and then you have to really kind of set the ground rules and include them in the ground rules before before you actually are their coach and say that you know they're, I, I need to for that hour practice and that hour game I need to address you similar to everybody else. Um, I need to make sure that I hold you to the same standard as everybody else. You have to respect me as you do your teachers, as you do other coaches. And if you kind of set that up and, and, and use the same tone and, and they understand equality early. I think you set yourself up you know, for success. And then I think it also is really important to define when you're a mom or dad and not the coach. And I think the best moment is when you hit the car. You know, at, at the end of practice, at the end of game, give, give your conclusion, give your feedback, wrap up practice, wrap up game. But once you get into the car, I think you gotta take that coaching hat off and I think you're really gonna, you know, be mom and dad and figure out what's for dinner and are we going for ice cream and you know what are we watching tonight on TV and and it, it may be hard at the beginning because you might want to be like well oh, I told you not to you know talk when I was talking but you actually have to address that and say during training session if your child just like anybody else is speaking when you're speaking say you know at this moment that I'm speaking so I'd like I'd like everybody here to make sure you're paying attention and you know you'll have a chance to add something to the moment I'm speaking. So you really have to kind of address any behavior that's not what you expect out of any of your players as it's happening. You can't kind of bottle it up and then unleash in the car. Um, and then just make sure there's that segregation once you, once you hit the car. And, and really try to, you know, in, in kids, is, my, my, my daughter will still try to do this to me and I'm not her coach anymore. You know, make comparisons. Well, did you think I was better than her? Or what, what did you think that she did? I mean, it's not important. Like, we're, 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 we're off soccer hours right now. So, um, you know, really kind of make sure there's that fine line of, of when you're a parent and then when you're coaching.